as you can tell by my beautiful gown and this bed and all the doohickeys behind me, I'm in a hospital. Ooh. So part of Break the Roof's mission and purpose is to demystify disability a little bit. Well, excuse the way the angle of this video is turned, but welcome to Disability 101. If you have a physical disability like muscular dystrophy and you're living on your own and you break your ankle, then you go to the hospital and then you don't walk for probably six weeks, if not longer. And you get to go hang out in a rehab center and live there, um, which is cool and I'm excited for it. And I'm gonna meet really cool people and I think I'm probably gonna document it. first time ever transferred me out of the bed into a wheelchair and then I rolled around the hospital for a little bit a little bit under my own power and then I got pushed around uh, we use this thing called a sliding board um, which hopefully I can show you it is over there that wooden thing and it was a ton of fun uh, really difficult this is day five in the hospital this is my kangaroo pouch slash uh, stork pouch um, as you can see, I'm literally just hanging in the air right now. Um, for somebody with low core strength and no upper, no to minimal upper body strength with a broken ankle, um, somebody with muscular dystrophy like me, this is the best and safest way to use the bathroom. Um, it is a lot of fun. You get to fly through the air. Uh, and similar to a stork, like you get the reward of uh, meeting your parents for the first time at the end of the trip. My reward is I get to poop. Oh how I missed my scooter. Uh, I'd hop in it while I slide, almost fall into it. I drive right into the bathroom and I get to go by myself. Um, so that's a pretty big deal for me. I also stood on one leg today, uh, but interesting story about that. The doctors and the PTs have wanted me to stand um, for the last day or two, uh, PT being physical therapist. And I tried to tell them, trying to make them understand with how my disability uh, affects the fact that I have a broken ankle and how my middle of my body is super weak and I have no balance and they kept trying to get me to do things their way um, so I, I obliged them and I've been trying for the last two days but finally today it seemed like there's a little bit of change in the story and the doctors started to listen to me and hear what I know about my body and how it works so they listened to what I was thinking uh, my suggestion of how I thought would be the easiest for me to get up and lo and behold, first try, I was up in the air, my knee was leaning on something, and I was balancing. Um, they were all terrified, they all thought I was gonna fall and die, but I didn't. I knew what was best for me. That's, you're, you're there. You're where you're supposed to be. All right. You want someone, number here? Yeah. Chad, you want to take over here? Yeah. Okay. All right. I think we're gonna make this work with two people anyway. Yeah, all right, adjust. Yeah. Right under the bottom. Yep. Okay. Make sure the board's on the seat too. Board on the seat. She's, She's holding, holding the board. Holding the board and guiding the leg. Someone's and holding the. Someone's behind me, guiding me. I'm behind guiding and holding the chair from moving. <clears throat> I'm thinking we got to make this harder this next time. <laughs> that was awesome. That was great. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Today is Monday, July 11th. Uh, as you can see, I'm outside. I'm sorry I haven't posted anything in a while. A lot has transpired. Um, I'm now in New Jersey with my family. Uh, rehab didn't want to keep me any longer. Uh, too independent, I guess. Uh, as of now, um, but I still can't do a lot of things like transition to cars and things like that. So as you see, I'm rolling around right now. I'm actually on my scooter in the middle of nowhere, South Jersey. Uh, I am scooting in the open road right now, trying to get to the local church so that I can use Wi-Fi to do my job. Um, <laughs> it's quite a trip. Uh, it's really beautiful out though, yet I am terrified of getting run over. 
Luckily, I have Pokemon Go to keep me company as I continue to recover. So I was filming that last one to tell you about how my hat's backwards like Ash Ketchum, but then I ran over a dead cat on the road with my scooter, so that's my day. This whole recovery thing has been quite different than what I expected. As you can see, I'm moving around right now. I am in my scooter in beautiful southern New Jersey. Um, over there is my car. I still cannot walk, but that's okay. I've got my scooter, and I want to show you a little bit of what I've been doing here and how we've set it up so that I can be somewhat independent. Um, as of now, for me to shower, what I do is, you can see this tent behind me, we use an outside shower because there's no place to get my scooter close enough to the bathroom uh, at the house I'm staying at. Good morning, everybody. Today is Thursday, July 28th. You see my little nephew's head in the background. Somehow, magically, we got myself into my SUV GMC Acadia. Uh, took a lot of effort and a transfer board and me being pushed up a 45 degree angle, but it was worth it. We are actually on the way to the orthopedist uh, to see if I get my cast off today. We are at the doctor's office and I am waiting right now for my next brace. This giant thing is done and I just got the clear and the A-OK -okay to put all the weight back on my leg. Pat, where you at? You want to come out here and, well, never mind. Just get, you want to go ahead and take a few steps? Yeah. Turn me in the wheelchair. Well, what we would do on that is I'd put you right to the step and then we just would pull ourselves up with those rails. This is probably the most excited I've been in this whole recovery process. It hurt so much, but I'm about to try driving for the first time. Hopefully we all survive. without a walker, which we did not expect to happen, but it happened, so got a videotape it. 